abscess versus cyst. What is an abscess and a cyst? An abscess is an infection characterized by a pus-filled pocket with painful, red, and swollen signs. While a cyst is a slow-growing sac filled with fluid or other material, typically painless until it enlarges or becomes infected. The primary difference lies in their cause. An abscess stems from an infection. Whereas a cyst is a pocket formed by abnormal cells or a blockage. Though an infected cyst can become an abscess. Are cyst and abscess the same thing? No, a cyst and an abscess are not the same. A cyst is a fluid-filled sac that can form in or on the body, while an abscess is a pus-filled infection caused by bacteria or other pathogens. Key differences include cysts are often slow-growing and painless, whereas abscesses are typically red, swollen, warm, and painful due to the infection. An infection can cause a cyst to develop into an abscess. But an abscess does not originate as a cyst. How long does it take for a cyst to become an abscess? A cyst can become an abscess within a matter of days. If it becomes infected with bacteria, the conversion from a non-infected cyst to a painful, pus-filled abscess happens. When the body's immune response creates a pocket of pus within the damaged tissue of the cyst, how a cyst can become an abscess? A cyst can become an abscess in following steps. Infection. A cyst can become infected by bacteria. Immune response. When bacteria enter the cyst, your body's immune system sends white blood cells to the area to fight the infection. Pus formation. These white blood cells, along with dead cells and germs, accumulate in the damaged tissue, forming a pocket of pus. Abscess. This pocket of pus is the abscess. What are the signs of a cyst becoming an abscess? A cyst can show following signs when it becomes an abscess. Increased pain. The cyst becomes significantly more painful. Redness and warmth. The area around the cyst becomes red and feels warm to the touch. Swelling. The lump or swelling grows larger. Systemic symptoms. You may develop a fever, especially if your immune system is compromised. Difficulty with activities. Pain from the abscess can interfere with walking or sitting. Let's discuss their differences one by one. Cause. A cyst is formed by a blockage of glands or ducts, or a pocket of abnormal cells. An abscess is formed by a bacterial, fungal, or parasitic infection, or a foreign object that triggers your immune system to fight the infection. Appearance A cyst is a sac-like pocket that can feel like a painless lump under the skin. An abscess is a tender, warm, red, and swollen bump or lump. That may have a head of pus. Growth A cyst grows slowly over time. An abscess grows quickly as the infection spreads. Symptoms. A cyst is usually painless until it gets large or becomes infected. An abscess shows pain, redness, warmth, and inflammation. Treatment. A cyst may not require treatment unless it is large or causes symptoms. Sometimes drainage or surgical removal is needed. An abscess requires drainage to release the pus and antibiotics to fight the infection. How can you tell the difference between a cyst and an abscess on an ultrasound? On ultrasound, cysts typically appear as smooth-walled, uniformly anechoic, dark fluid-filled sacs with thin walls, while abscesses often show a more heterogeneous, complex fluid collection, with internal echoes or debris, surrounding inflammatory changes, and potential posterior acoustic enhancement. Let's discuss them in details. Simple cyst appears as a uniformly dark fluid-filled sac. An abscess appears as a fluid collection. That can be anechoic, hypoechoic, darker than normal tissue, or even contain complex, floating debris and gas bubbles. Walls of a simple cyst appears thin and smooth. While, walls of an abscess can have irregular or poorly defined borders. 
simple cyst has no solid components, enhancing nodules or other internal structures. An abscess can have hyperechoic, bright, debris or loculations, or even gas bubbles from bacteria. Simple cyst typically does not show significant inflammation in surrounding tissues. An abscess is often surrounded by inflammatory changes, such as soft tissue edema or a cobblestoning appearance. So a cyst can become infected and then develop into an abscess. While a cyst is a non-infectious sac, it can become a site for a bacterial infection to take hold. In this case, the cyst's contents will become purulent, and the lesion will become painful and show signs of inflammation.